Hi, my name is Hannah Mosier. I'm a student educator here at the Museum of Art, and today I want to talk to you about two pieces by Jean-Léon Jérôme. The first piece is right here, and it's called La Fouille en Egypt, or The Flight into Egypt. And the other one is going to be right here up on your screen. It's called Les Rameaux, or The Return into Jerusalem. I wanted to look at these two pieces because we're coming up on Palm Sunday and Easter, and I wanted to just have something that focuses a little bit more on Christ and the things that he taught and did in his, in his life. Um, so looking here first at Le Fouillon, Egypt, um, the story is that's happening here is that Joseph had a dream that him and Mary and the Christ child needed to escape into Egypt because Herod had decided to kill all of the children under the age of two because his plan to kill the Christ child had been foiled. So here they are escaping in order for the Christ child to survive and be able to do what the Father, Heavenly Father, wants him to do with his life. Over here with Le Rameau, we have Christ returning to Jerusalem to die. And both, I think, are really interesting because we have escaping to live and returning to die, but both are Heavenly Father's will, and both are things that are done in order to save humanity. Starting with this piece over here, I love that Mary cradles Christ the way she does. She's acting as the protector here because he's so young, he can't protect himself. Despite being King of Kings, Lord of Lords, right here he's a child and his mortality is so evident. So his mother cradles him, similarly to how over here, Christ cradles the palm leaf, the symbol of martyrdom and triumph. Um, both times it's symbols of being martyred here. It's the Christ is acting as the palm leaf. He is the symbol of martyrdom, the symbol of triumph. Here we have the palm leaf taking over that role. Another thing that I love here is like I mentioned before, Mary is acting as the protector. And here we have Christ, he's acting as the protector of all of mankind. Um, so there's a shift of roles here. He's not only protector of mankind, but also his mother now, who once protected him. Um, another thing that I love about these pieces is that Mary is hidden in this piece. She looks down, her cloth is like covering her face, but Christ looks forward in both. He looks towards the future, he is our future, he's the reason that we have hope, um, which I really love. Another thing that's amazing about these pieces is that in both, Christ is on a donkey, the most humble of load-bearing animals. Despite being King of Kings and Lord of Lords, he's also our brother through our Heavenly Father. He's our supporter. He refers to himself as the living water, which is something that's so commonplace, but is essential for our survival. Um, another thing that I think is so significant about these pieces is that in both, here, Mary is barefoot, and over here, Christ is also barefoot. In art, a lot of the time when something sacred is happening, then the people in the pieces will be barefoot to show the significance of that moment, which I think is awesome. As we're approaching Palm Sunday and Easter, I really hope that you'll come and visit this piece. It's such an awesome reflection on Christ and the beginning of his life and the beginning of everything that gives us hope and light in this world.